That was a close one. I would have been okay though, because I had my helmet on. At the end of the video, let's see if a team has called. <laughs> Grace, look at this. Let's see if I go three for three here. You can do it, one hand. She's impressed, hand game. Let's go. And usually she's the one making this, me, not me. Yeah. Breakfast of champions, folks. And for athletes, it's okay to add salt to your meals because that's actually extra sodium, electrolyte, and keep your muscles hydrated. Whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. Here at LA Fitness. The funny part to me about wearing my Oklahoma helmet is the fact that I'm in Texas. Definitely get mixed reactions, but what are you gonna do? Time to go get anabolic. You play football? <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. Who do you think's better, Oklahoma or Texas? I'd say Oklahoma. For real? Yeah, I hate Texas horns now. <laughs> I think one guy was a Texas fan because um, he threw a barbell at me, but I uh, deflected it with my helmet. What I've learned being a punter for the past seven years, stretching is the most underutilized and underdeveloped aspect of being a good athlete. And I think punters stretch a lot, obviously, but like safeties or running backs, QBs or whoever, or even other sports do not stretch enough. And when you think about it, all you're doing is limiting your range of motion and increasing the odds of a muscle strain or injury that takes longer to recover from because you're not as flexible. So I'm gonna edit my entire stretch routine right here to under 10 or 15 seconds. Feel free to rewind or pause if you actually you want to write this down. Ready, go. Hang 
think if you do go to the gym a lot and work out and you're built you know pretty well you have a lot of muscle and you still don't feel that great or you feel like your joints ache or your back hurts really consider stretching more because that's actually a lot more functional for your overall body health and how you feel throughout the day yes i had to come set this camera up to get this shot but just enjoy this cinematic shot Well, hang gang, got a great workout in. Life of a free agent. I don't think I should drive in this. Extra protection. True. H-E-B. We are in Texas, remind you guys. There were guys that were gonna throw a rock at you. What? Those guys are walking in, we're gonna throw a rock at you. They're not Oklahoma fans? You don't, you were gonna throw a rock at me? You don't like Oklahoma? You don't like Oklahoma? Oh, I said, uh, you don't like Oklahoma? No, I like Texas. I like Texas too. <laughs> Boomer. You're a Sooners fan? Huh? Boomer. <laughs> Good apples. Popcorn chicken is a cheaper source of protein. Then, instead of buying protein powder, Lord willing, I get a sponsor on these videos in the future, get free protein powder. Free Asian life is tough. Ain't that right, hon? Cannot forget the eggs. This is way cheaper. Yeah. How much is that? Is that from here? In a Texas HEB. Just kidding. <laughs> Are you like famous? No. You're not? <laughs> what if he says no but is actually yes? Alright, who do you think better this season? Texas or Oklahoma? I really don't watch football. Fair enough. I don't really either. Really? They don't. don't they actually don't know. Alright, see y'all. Right, Thank you. Right. Good trip. So, hang gang, uh, I'm taking this off for a second. This part of my day is basically, I go on my laptop, I work on my business. I also talk to my agent on the cell phone, but I talk to him and make sure that he is trying to contact teams and just talk about what teams we think need a punter and making sure we're staying on top of that. So, you know, I don't know how it is for free agent, like wide receivers or linebackers, but for punters and kickers, it's very objective to see how a guy is doing in the league and you don't have to learn a playbook. So as long as I'm taking care of working out hard every day and punting, staying sharp, you know, Lord willing, if I do get an opportunity, wherever I'm plugged in, punt right, punt left, make sure I'm on the right page with the coach and what the scheme is and all that and make sure I'm holding. But it's not as complex as other positions, obviously. So I just gotta stay ready. We're here at the park once again, hang gang, because the free agent lifestyle, you gotta stay ready, you gotta be hitting dingers every day of the week. Well, actually not every day of the week, but three or four days of the week you gotta be punting. Cause guys, we gotta stay in a ball, let's go. She's hitting a dinger too, how about it? Yeah. I still have the Oklahoma cleats, Roman's A28. They are getting old, however, so I need to buy a new pair soon. Why is this ground so wet? Yeah, your butt is so wet. My butt is all wet because I'm sitting on this field. I don't have the luxury of going to a professional football facility, going to the star and, you know, punting the Dallas Cowboys facilities. Right now, we're uh, 
You also got kids practices going on, like kids lacrosse. Barely swung. Yeah, you're good. That was like one of the first balls That's I hit, hard. just good contact. <laughs> I wasn't gonna hit you, sorry. <laughs> Let's keep getting after it. Let's just go the same way. We just did two sets of one steps. I saved these two footballs to show you guys my pure two step. Good ball contact will result in a good punt. Still drop straight through. And right now, I'm not in an NFL game, but Lord willing, if I ever get a chance to, this is what I need to do in a game. So. It's a great ball. Actually, I thought the ball was going there. It was going to the right. <laughs> That's all right, honey. So I probably followed on just blue sky. So, that wasn't, that was right on the, I mean, that was like a 65 yard punt from line of scrimmage. I don't know if this is possible. We'll give it two more tries. You're worried you're gonna hit the lacrosse players? Just aim right at that tree and hit a dinger. Stay, swing inside out. Okay, let me wait Straight through. Let's go, Grace, hit it. Ooh. Good first punt. <laughs> Backyard football. I feel like I want to share just a couple things about the quote unquote harsh reality of being an NFL free agent because honestly, I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far and got value out of it or were entertained and it was, you know, pretty uplifting, I hope. But the thing about being an NFL free agent, especially as a rookie, you finish your college career, you know, in December or January if you play a bowl game, and the first week of the NFL season isn't until September. So, really, that huge chunk of time. You're devoting uh, most of your time, effort, and energy, especially from a career perspective, into trying to be an NFL football player. And during this time, you're not getting paid, and you're also not starting a potential normal, quote unquote, normal career, right? Or directing your energy elsewhere, which could be fruitful later on. So it's a huge, I guess, toll of energy, time, and effort, but obviously there's a big reward too if you do make it. But people don't really understand that, that during that time, you're not getting paid. And if you don't make it, it's really tough because you also don't get to determine where you live in the NFL. If you make a team or are trying to make a team, you have to move out there. You have to pay a lot of money, right? Like when I was lived in South Florida with my wife and I, I paid a lot of money to live in that Airbnb just for two months. My wife couldn't start, you know, her FCA career because we didn't know for sure if we were going to live there or not. So basically it just puts on hold everything else in your life in terms of a career perspective. I'm super thankful to the Lord that I have this YouTube platform to be able to make an income off of as well as my punting camps and my online punting course because it's super flexible. I can determine my own hours. I can work from wherever I want and I enjoy doing it and it's super flexible, right? But if I had a quote unquote normal job, it would be a lot harder to train. But at the end of the day, the world along with its desires is passing away and the world's evil and corrupt. That's why I'm thankful I have the Lord and I know my sins are forgiven. I'm following Jesus and he'll place me on the path where I will be the most fruitful for his kingdom, sharing the gospel and storing up true treasure in heaven. So I hope and pray that you believe in Jesus too and are following him because when you do that, you cannot lose. Please tell your friends to subscribe. Lord willing, I'll see you in the next one. Grace, love, peace, and mercy.